need beautiful wings if we're accomplishing things. Pride straight laying low at the feet of the king. I need beautiful wings if we're accomplishing things. Keep me in order, I get swayed by beautiful things. Game changes, we are back, another reaction. We're getting back into Carmen. Let me drop these off real quick. Just did another video, so it's warm in my ears, but we're getting back into Carmen. America again, let's get it. You know this one's gonna hit with the times right now, but Trisha M, you get the shout out. Thank you so much for sending in your video and your support. I gotta read what you said, because it's just beautiful. Um, and I, I truly appreciate your kind words. Another powerful song full of truth for this time. I'm having trouble with Reactor TV. Uh, I haven't been able to share anything. I've been in contact with them. They're working on fixing it. They gave me this link for the Carmen song. Ironically, I'm also having issues sharing scripture on TikTok. So a lot of social media and just platforms, there's some issues going on. Daniela, you've said that you've had issues too. I apologize for not getting back to you uh, quick enough, um, but I'm gonna reach out to Reactor too and see what's going on. Um, and then you said, I found another way to do it using my own photos. Also, I truly believe God has something special for you and this channel because of your heart to give God the glory. That's what it's all about. Uh, it's all about giving God the glory. And uh, Trisha M, I truly appreciate the words because it, it obviously it makes you feel good, but it's just also encouraging. It's a, it's a sister in Christ encouraging a brother in Christ. And I truly appreciate that. But it's because of you guys too that continue to fuel and drive this page. And Trisha, don't sell yourself short. I love what you're doing on your TikTok. So it's gonna be in the comments. So you guys can go over and check out Trisha M's uh, TikTok as well. She's awesome, sharing scripture and, and things of that nature. So we hit 30K subs, we're on the road to 50K subs. So make sure you hit the sub button. We wanna proclaim the name of Jesus, but we also want to um, just give shout outs to those of you that support the page. It's such a blessing and I can't thank you enough. And without you, it wouldn't happen. So. Also, hang out to the end of this page. You'll see my Carmen reaction playlist of all the songs that I've done so far. Without further ado, here we go. America again. You know this is going to be amazing. Let's go. This is going to hit home. George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Samuel Adams, First Chief Justice John Jay. Names synonymous with the spirit of our country. Founding fathers of the USA. Over 200 years ago, they shook off the chains of tyranny from mm. Great Britain by divine call. Citing 27 biblical violations, they wrote the Declaration of Independence mm. with liberty and justice for all. But something happened since Jefferson called the Bible the cornerstone for American liberty, then put it in our school. There you go. For people who say uh, separation of church and state and all that kind of stuff, first off, they get it wrong. But secondly, listen, our founding fathers loved the Lord. So listen, and and... The, the, the documents that we have written up um, support the Bible. And look at what's happening in our world because we're trying to run away from God and now our world is just falling apart. Look at San Francisco and a bunch of big cities, uh, liberal cities, if we're going to be honest, that are just falling apart. It's crazy. It's crazy. Let's hear that one more time. Go ahead. Go ahead, Carmen. Well, something happened since Jefferson called the Bible the cornerstone for American liberty, then put it in our schools as a light. Or since give me liberty or give me death, Patrick Henry said, our country was founded on the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. We eliminated God from the equation of American life, thus eliminating the reason this nation first began. Amen. From beyond the grave, I hear the voices of our founding fathers plead. You need God in America again. Amen. This is awesome. This is my favorite one so far. Carmen, unashamed of the gospel. I love it. Of the 55 men who formed the Constitution, 52 were active members of their church. Yeah. Founding fathers like Noah Webster, who wrote the first dictionary, could literally quote the Bible chapter and verse. Wow. James Madison said, We've staked our future and our ability to follow the Ten Commandments yeah. with all our heart. These men believed you couldn't even call yourself an American if you subvert the Word of God. Amen. In his farewell address, Washington said, you can't have national morality apart from religious principle, and it's true. Because right now we have nearly 150,000 kids carrying guns to these war zones we call public schools. Crazy. In the 40s and 50s, student problems were chewing gum and talking. In the 90s, rape and murder are the trend. The only way this nation can even hope to last this decade is put God in America again. Let's go. The only hope for America is Jesus. Amen. Come on. Let's go. The only hope for our country is Him. If we repent of our ways, stand firm and say, Amazing. 
Abe Lincoln said the philosophy of the schoolroom in one generation will be the philosophy of government in the next. So when you eliminate the word of God from the classroom and politics, you eliminate the nation that word protects. America is now number one in teen pregnancy and violent crime, number one in illiteracy, drug use, and divorce. Every day a new holocaust of 5,000 unborn die, while pornography floods our streets like open sewer. This man is preaching nothing but truth. Come on, man. Come on, man. I don't know how you can watch this and be like, nah. Listen, he's preaching truth right now, and I love it. Trisha M., let me know when this video drops, because I'm guessing early 90s, maybe late 80s. And look at where we're at now, man. All this is still true, and it's even worse. It's crazy. Here we go. Use and divorce. Every day a new holocaust of 5,000 unborn die, while pornography floods our streets like open sewers. America's dead and dying hand is on the threshold of the church while the spirit of Sodom and Gomorrah vex us all when it gets to the point where people would rather come out of the closet than clean it it's the sign that judgment of God is gonna fall oh, come on if come on you hear what he just said people coming out of the closet instead of cleaning it that's being born again God says you die to the flesh and you live for him and what does his Bible say or what does his Bible say what does the Bible say man it says listen that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, all right? Listen, I got some flack last time I said it in a uh, Pentatonix video, but listen, homosexuality is a sin. It is clear as day in the Bible. And listen, that's not hating people that live that lifestyle. It's telling them and warning them and loving on them and saying, listen, this is something that you need to run from and you need to run to Jesus Christ. Let's go. This, this video is amazing. There's never been a time to rise up church, it's now. And as the blood-bought saints of the living God proclaim, that it's Lord. time to sound the alarm from the church house to the White House and say, we want God in America again. Amen. I believe it's time, America, to stand up and proclaim that one nation under God is our demand. And send this evil lifestyle back to Satan where it came from. And let the word of God revive our dying land. For Jesus Christ is coming back again in all his glory. And every eye shall see him on that day. That's why a new anointing of God's power is coming on us. To boldly tell the world you must be saved. Because astrology won't save you. The horoscope won't save you. The Bible says these things are all farce. If you're born again, you don't need to look to the stars for your answers, because you can look to the very one who made those stars. Come on, man. Let's History go. History tells us time and time again, to live like there's no God makes you a fool. If you want to see kids live right, stop handing out condoms and start handing out the word of God in schools. The only hope for America is Jesus. The only hope for our country. I can't believe I've never seen this video before. Come on, man. Come on, man. This guy is one of my faves already. I think I've done, I think this is my third video of him. But my man is just unashamed, and I love it, man. No, just straight up boldness, and he's, he's just going in. I love this, man. Church of them, you're awesome. Come on, man. Uh, I think it's funky. Come on now. I love it, man. He hits every he hits every genre and just every topic too, which is amazing. So, but listen, that's Carmen, America again. This needs to be streamed in every school, in every political building, in every workforce in every church come on man come on Trisha M you hit it on the head
Thank you so much for sending this video in. Uh, go to Carmen's page, subscribe. And I believe he has passed away. Let me know in the comments. But, ah, oh, man. And I loved what uh, people have said in the past. It, Carmen is incredible, but he's just a person. He's not Jesus. And he is proclaiming the name of Jesus, and he's being a light. He's being like John the Baptist, where it's not about us. It's about proclaiming Jesus. So we stand on the shoulders of these awesome, awesome heroes of the faith prior to us. And we need to carry our cross and take up our cross. So this is just awesome, man. Awesome. Same with me. I'm just a vessel. It is not about me. It's not about game tea changer. It's not about who I am. It is about who he is, Jesus Christ. And we proclaim his name. That's what it's all about. God bless you all. Thank you so much for checking out this video. The Carmen Reaction Playlist is about to pop up. Make sure you check those out. God bless you.